Tuesday. What you guys doing? It's April 10th. I have no idea what significance that is. It's just April 10th. Anywho, I have thoroughly enjoyed my leisurely Tuesday. Uh, Tia Maria left me to go to Planet Fitness, and I'm going to do Planet Fitness tomorrow because I usually do the gym for shower Wednesday and Sunday. So I'm going to wait and do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is the meetup, so I'll be all fresh and clean. Not that I'm not fresh and clean. Oh, if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm putting vinegar into my spray bottle. I think I'm going to use this as my new pee jug because it's thicker than the water bottle. Like, this plastic is crazy thick. So I think when I'm done with this, and I'm hoping it'll all fit in here, but it probably won't because I'm so excited to do it. But when I'm done, I'm going to cut with my X-Acto knife a little piece here for the funnel to sit in. And I'm going to use this for my new pee jug because um, I feel like the water jug is so... And I'm doing this over the sink, but I'm still spilling. Um, the water jug is so thin... And I, it's just not meant to hold anything but water, really. So I feel like even when I go to clean it out... Ooh, I almost have it off. Even when I go to clean it out with the vinegar and the baking soda, it's still kind of stinky because I think the plastic is so thin. Um, the odors kind of seep into the plastic. As a matter of fact, I might just leave this little bit of vinegar in here. Because normally when I clean out my pee jug, I leave vinegar in the bottom. So I'll put a few sprays of vinegar and dump in some baking soda and shake that up real good, like real hard. Shake it up real hard, as hard as I can, outside, so it spills outside. And then um, I dump that, and then I put a little more vinegar in the bottom to sit to help dilute the urine as I use it. So I've been cleaning it every other day now instead of every day because we've been parked at places where I can get to a bathroom. Um... So it's only got like two, two urines in it, two sessions or two pee sessions, whatever you want to call it. So usually it's they got the last night pee and in the mornings I can usually go into the Cracker Barrel or wherever we're parked and use the bathroom. So I'm usually got two peas in there before I clean it. So I'm doing like an every other day clean out now, if that makes sense. I don't know. But the vinegar in the bottom helps keep it... Um, you know, smelling a little fresher, and uh, it doesn't smell like urine in here. And a lot of times I will leave the lid up because I notice that when you have the lid closed, you trap in all the odors, so then when you open it, you get a whiff of anything. So what I'll do is I'll leave the lid up when I'm just sitting in here. I've got the sliding door open and the breeze going, so it's all kind of airing out. I just find that works for me. Might not work for everybody, but that's what works for me is um, anytime I'm sitting around in the van with the sliding door open, I just make sure the lid is up. Um, even at night when I'm sleeping, I leave the lid up. That way if I get up in the middle of the night by chance, I don't have to worry about it. Just get on the toilet and use it and that's it. I'm not worrying about all the, the extra steps. I know that's just one little step, but still. So I think I might cut that top and do that. So, um, I got a couple of things I need to clean out here, and my funnel is one of them. I do clean the funnel every day, and usually I'll hold it over the, the water bottle or the pee jug and clean it out with the vinegar spray. So I spray the vinegar in the funnel, and then I use my reusable rags to wipe it out not that i have to wipe it out but and i've updated to a different funnel so remember i had the gray funnel i now have a clear funnel and the reason i got the clear funnel it was 99 cents at a thrift shop and i just put boiling water in it to clean it out because i don't know where it came from or what so i the first time i used it i spritzed it with vinegar baking soda, cleaned it out with a um, paper towel, then boiled some water on the stove top, put the water through it outside, poured the water through it on the inside and the outside, the boiling water, and then cleaned it with vinegar and baking soda again. Just, you know, I don't know what it was used for, you know, I don't know. I don't think it was used for any kind of car fluids because there was no residue. It looked clean. So it's plastic. And the reason I have the plastic funnel is it allows me to see 
into the container, whereas the gray one um, covered the top of the container. And so I couldn't, I'd have to really look into the toilet to see when the jug was getting, you know, full or whatever. But I like to see into the contain, into the pee container. So this allows me to see, and, and it's a little bit wider. This is a little bit wider, not much, not much. I think the gray one was maybe a quarter of an inch smaller in, in, in circumference, but this is just a little bit wider. It does have this little hole here. I guess you could hang it. So I put the hole towards the back of me since, you know, when a woman pees her, um, what is it called? Is it a urethra or is that a man's? I don't know. It's in the front. So I didn't want the hole in the front because then I would be dribbling all over the place. So I keep the hole in the back. So yeah. So anyway. <clears throat> and then this will go in the dirty clothes. So I usually hang my my um, wet rags on the edge of my dirt laundry basket. And then uh, at the end of the day, they're usually dry. And then I'll toss them in the... If they're not dry by the end of the day, the next morning they're usually dry. So let me wash my hands since I did all that. And I've got to get more Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's soap. There's really not much left in here. <laughs> I need to just buy a gallon jug. I don't know why. But I could have swore I had another peppermint one. And I have no idea where it went. Because I swore I had like a half a container. And I can't find it anywhere. I looked for it uh, a few weeks ago and could not find it. And I don't know what the heck. So anywho. Um, nothing really going on today. Oh, we are going to the movie this afternoon. Tia Maria and I are going to the movie. We're going to go see, um, Acrimony with Taraji P. Henson. Yay, she's a DMV girl. She's from Maryland, Baltimore, I believe. Same with Jada Pinkett Smith. Maybe that's why I like them so much. Maybe that's why, because they're DMV natives. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited for that because um, it's supposed to be a good movie. And apparently the movie, the total movie was shot in like 10 or 11 days. So that's pretty impressive. Um, she shot all her stuff, I think she said in eight days in one of the interviews I saw because she was still filming um, her show Empire. So these are leggings for those of you that are gonna end up asking in the comments. These are a pair of leggings, I've worn them before. They have kind of a tropical theme to them, I guess. And it seems like I always wear them when I wear this shirt, I guess because there's green in this shirt maybe, even though it's not really the exact same shade of green, but I don't know, whenever I wear this shirt. And no, this shirt did not come from my shop. This is the shirt I bought from some van dwellers who I don't even know who they are anymore, and I don't even think they're on YouTube anymore, but this was their business. They screen printed shirts and sold them as their income. And I do have some Home is Where You Park It shirts in my store, my Teespring and my Etsy. So you have to go to both because there's ones in Teespring that are not on Etsy. And I can't get those designs over to Etsy because they were built in the Teespring, Teespring platform. And it's not something I can take over to Etsy, unfortunately. So that's why, that's why my Teespring store remains open because there are planner designs and van dwelling designs there that I cannot bring over to the Etsy because they were created in Teespring using Teespring's free clip art and all that. And I don't know how to transform it over. It just won't, it won't work anyway. And I don't have the, if I had like a, the iPad pro, I could design on my own, make it a PNG file and then bring it over. I don't have that capability, so that's why I have a Teespring store and an Etsy shop, if you were ever wondering. wondering. I started with Teespring, but Etsy's a bigger platform. It's more well-known, and so I decided to go over to Etsy. So until I can figure out how to recreate those designs into Etsy, the Teespring store will remain open. Now what I have to do is tomorrow probably spend the day at the library changing all the prices on the Teespring stuff because... When I first started, I was pricing my stuff a little higher, and that's just not going to sell. So I've got to go into the Teespring store and delete stuff that I no longer want to worry about carrying or having, and then change prices, which is going to take like literally eight hours, easy. It'll easily be a regular workday. 
So I'll probably get up in the morning, go to the gym, and then go to the library because tomorrow is the 11th and that is the Arkansas meetup and it's at the McMath Library in Little Rock, Arkansas. Please go to the website for the calendar and the address is there. I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, but it's all in my calendar. It's on all my social media. Uh, it's on my blog. So you, you, there's no way you cannot find where I'm going to be tomorrow. Um, and it's at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the library. So I'm going to spend the whole day at the library doing that Teespring stuff because I've been putting it off for months now, like four months. <sighs> because it's going to be a job. It's a very tedious job. It will take me about... 15 minutes to do each each item and I have over a hundred items so it's like uh, it's gonna take a long time anywho if I just focus and sit and get it done and st not get sidetracked going on social media and not get sidetracked watching YouTube or Netflix then I'll be okay maybe I'll listen to something in the background uh, music and then that will help keep me focus because I always like to have lots of things simultaneously going because it helps with my um, distractible brain. I don't know why, but all the background noise kind of helps me sometimes. I don't know. Too quiet. I don't get, I, I'm looking around if it's too quiet, you know, like I get so just, I get more distracted when it's too quiet. I know that makes no sense. But anyone who's like ADHD or ADD, you kind of get it. You know what I mean. You need those extra synapses that are firing to be distracted or kept occupied or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, those are the only plans for today is the movie and chilling. I'm just chilling. Today's not a travel day. I'm just chilling. Tomorrow is the gym and the meetup and then chilling again. And then Thursday we head on out back on the road. Um, I underestimated gas, gas costs. So I haven't been doing much of anything, <laughs> um, just trying to save that money, you know, save and pinch, 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 pinch off of it and just doing gas. So, um, the movie is really the first, wait, what else did we do? Yeah. I don't think we've done much of anything else this month. So yeah, the movie is really the first thing we've done this month. Yeah. So yeah, I forgot, and I really didn't calculate the gas when I came out here, and I really should have tallied that up, and then I would have had an idea of how much money it took, because gas prices as you travel just go all over the place, you know, so you never know. You could be getting really cheap gas the first couple times you get gas, and then it spikes, you know, it depends on where you are. So, yeah, note to self, really calculate those gas costs. Um, even if you have to round up on the higher end, it's better to have a higher number than a lower number. Anywho. So, um, I will be smudging today. As a matter of fact, let's smudge together. Why not? Right? You guys could use some good juju. Some good vibes, right? Let's smudge together, right, Knight? So this is just some sage. It's regular sage. It's not the white sage, I don't believe. I think it's just regular old sage. I don't know. Maybe it is white sage. I don't know. Someone gave it to me. Um, oh, I love the way this smells. Oh, it smells so good to me. Oh, I think this is when it's the last little bit of fluid in it. I do have another one, but I really want to use it all up first. This might be lit enough. I don't know. Sometimes it goes out before I'm ready, so I'm trying to... There we go. Yeah. try and burn as much as I can I think this one is it's too low it's not really lighting let's see I have another one so basically I don't know the right way or the wrong way to sage um, or smudge rather um, I usually just light it to the point where it's burning like a good incense would burn and I just speak some positive words some good affirmations some wishes some hopes some dreams there we go and um, I just kind of swirl it around my space, my air. I breathe it in. I blow it over myself. That's all I do. Whether or not that's right or wrong, I don't know. And I haven't researched it. But I feel like it helps me. So I don't want to be bound by someone else's rules for this. So see how that's not really smoking anymore. It does that to me. I don't know why. 
get a good burn on it. Come on. All right, that's better. So basically, I just start by saying um, thank yous, you know, thank you for health, thank you for my van, thank you for family, for friends, for YouTube, thank you for all the people I've met, and um, I just put it all in my space, I want my space, you know, and then my hopes and dreams, you know, I pray for um, positiveness in my life, I pray for prosperity, for wealth, for health. I pray for my family, my son, my granddaughter, extended family. I pray prosperity in their lives. I pray love in their lives. See, it stopped smoking again. Maybe my sage is just getting old, I don't know. I don't know, it's supposed to last forever though. It's supposed to burn all the way down, so I don't understand. I ask for positiveness for my YouTube family, those that are working on their dreams, their careers, their businesses. I ask positivity on them, prosperity, health, wellness, peace of mind. Tia Maria, we have traveling mercies. Positivity, health, wellness, prosperity for her as well. Thank you to all the powers that be, the universe, Mother Nature, God, Jehovah, Allah, whomever. Positive works are positive in my life. Higher powers, spiritual beings of good and not evil. It's really not lighting. I've never had to light it this many times before. So I'm wondering if it's just too dried out. And I just cover myself with safety, cover myself with blessings, love, peace, health, wellness, prosperity. And that's usually all I do. So I let it sit on the stove top until I, it no longer has any smoking or any charred um, um, what do you call it, um, ash coloring to it. And I just like the way it smells, so it just kind of resonates all throughout. And I also just ask that all evil go out. My door is open, so I'm asking all evil to go out, all, all, all negativity to go out the door. I'm asking for all negative, bad elements, spirits, whatever, to go out the door. Go out. That's what I do. So whether or not it's right, I don't know. I really don't care. I know, um, sorry, somebody just sent me something. I have to get it off the screen, it's bothering me. So um, I know that it makes me feel well, it makes me feel better. Um, I definitely feel a difference um, after I smudge. And um, I don't know, it just kind of gives, it calms me. The smell comes into me and it instantly gives me a calming effect. Um, I've even not, been feeling well and done a smudge and have felt better. I mean, not 100% better, but I have felt, you know, maybe 40, 50% better than I did before I smudged. So I think it's definitely some benefits to it. And so um, it just, it's a good thing for me anyway. So I think Dove Coat, Cote or Coat Cafe in um, Baltimore, Maryland, the young lady who gave me the stick, the sage, can't remember her name, but she's one of the um, people that work there. And I'm not sure if she's a co-owner or not, but I know she was working behind the register at the time that I was there. I will be visiting you guys again. Um, I'll put the link to their um, cafe there. It's a Black-owned cafe, and they are definitely about the local arts, the local community, and it's just a great vibe. So if you're ever in Baltimore, Maryland, you need to go there. Don't go to Starbucks. Go there. I'll put the website link in the description box. So that's it um, for today's VEDA. Like I said, it's a lazy day. It's a nice day. Um, it's much warmer, as you can see, because I've got on short sleeves, no scarf and all that. It was cool this morning when we woke up, so it was about 35 when I woke up. But I think right now we're up to about 55-ish, 57-ish. 
and I think it's supposed to be a 66 high, and tomorrow's supposed to be like a 71 high. So I'm excited. Some warm weather is on the front for us because it was so cold. Not nearly as cold last night as it was. So um, I was able to not sleep with all the layers on. Just a long sleeve shirt and some thick leggings and some wool socks was all I needed. Before I had on all of that, plus a long sleeve shirt, plus sweatpants and two pairs of socks. So yeah, so I'm, I don't like sleeping with all those clothes on. It's very hard to get a good night's sleep. Anywho, I love you guys, and thank you for watching. Thank you for being um, so um, so great. You're just so great, and you're, I mean, you send me such kind words. And um, if you can come to a meetup, please do. I mean, um, I unfortunately have someone cancel um, who can't show up to the Arkansas one, but I'm still going to be there. And uh, if you're in the area or close enough within a couple of hours, come on through. I'll be there. Um, and the next meetup is the 15th in Shreveport, Louisiana. So if you're from that area, let me know and come see me. All right? I love you guys so much. Mwah.